All right, well, usually when I do a video, I try to have some kind of a subject to cover, like whatever gear I'm using or something like that. But I don't didn't have anything planned out today. And I've got the day off from work, so, you know, to keep up with the, the YouTube schedule and stuff, if I have a day off, I kind of just need to go out and fish and fill up that time, get something. So, uh, instead of doing something unusual or something I've never done before, coming back to a place that I haven't been to in a while. Last time I was here was a couple months ago, and it didn't seem like there was any fish left in here, so... That's what I'm gonna do today. All right, now this is the area where I haven't been for a few months. Looks like it's all overgrown down there. And this is all underwater recently. Big flooded apparently. First time I came here, caught a couple of two-pounders out of this, and it's basically just a tiny creek with a pool. This over here in this bend area where the creek turns, it, it just pools up. Oh yeah, there's some. Looks like shiner, maybe some shad swimming around right there, right up on the bank here. Right down there, there's a bunch of decent sized ones. Oh, I got, oh no, he let go. It's setting the hook on this thing is so hard, but that felt like a decent, decent sized sunfish or a small bass. That's a fish right there. There we go. Finally. It's not a very big one, but it's, this ultralight puts up a good fight. Ooh. Took long enough. Not a bad looking little fish. I hope there's water down here. I've always wanted to check this spot out, but never had the opportunity to. And well, I didn't have anything else going on today. Decided to check out a place I've never been. There's definitely water down here. Just hope there's fish. A new spot I've never been to. Oh, there's bait fish for sure. Hopefully there's some kind of predator. Oh, there's some good sunfish in there. It's interesting how deep it actually is because it looks shallow right where I'm standing, but it drops off. And I've got a bite, I've got something taking it. Oh yeah, got a fish. It's a little fish, but it's a fish. There we go. Oh, it's a cichlid. There we go. Cichlid. Oops. Well, anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that fish there. This, uh, it's all like concrete where I'm standing and then it's just a steep drop straight down. It's at least three to four feet right off the edge here. I'll drop it straight down there. Let's see. Yeah, that's... 
Oh, and I got a fish. <laughs> I just dropped it straight down to see how deep it was, and I got a sunfish on the way back up. Green sunfish, little one. That's back-to-back -back casts there, even though this technically wasn't even a cast. They're getting, they're hard to release here because they're active, they're feisty. All right, well, I had a couple of small fish there on back-to-back -back casts, a cichlid and a sunfish. And I'm, already, I'm getting bites on every cast. So there's bound to be bass in here somewhere. A couple of bites. I'm getting multiple bites on every cast. Okay. A little bit clearer. More room to cast over here. At least more room over there for me to cast too. Get out a little bit farther. A better angle too I can also reach some spots that I wasn't able to reach a minute ago something's got I got something there what do we got little it's another cichlid or sunfish yep it's another cichlid about the same size as that first one it's weird I don't usually catch too many cichlids Especially on artificials. But I've been hitting a couple of them lately. I haven't started recording. I got another fish here. Looks like another green sunfish. I'm, oh, and he slipped off. It's all right. So we can get another one here. Oh, there's a bite. I think I got him this time. He's coming towards me. It's a little bitty one, but I got him another cichlid or no cichlid it's another sunfish there we go man I'm getting bites every time pretty quickly there's something another one it's another not very big fish but this is another what is that green sunfish I guess it's the biggest sunfish so far biggest fish today or well biggest fish out of here so far of course he had to kind of choke this thing so I gotta back it up out of his throat without pushing it too far down there we go <laughs> they've all all but one of them so far has slipped out of my hand and not been thrown back properly. Let's go back to this corner over here. Oh, so that something ran with that pretty quickly there, but he didn't get the hook. Oh, now he's got the hook. It's another sunfish. Man. I wish the bass bite was like this. <laughs> another little sunfish. That's uh, six fish so far. Throw it back to that same spot, see if we get another one there. Yep. Oh, but he didn't get the hook. It's a lot of stuff hanging around over here, so it's hard to set the hook. and Kind of hard to fight the fish, too, because I keep hitting the trees. Need to keep the rod tip down over here. Keep hitting the trees. Oh, okay. There was a fish. Might be the biggest fish so far. Yep, it's definitely the fattest. About the same length as that last last one. It's a little fatter. There we go, another green sunfish. Two cichlids and... Is that six green sunfish, I think? I don't, I don't even know, I've lost count. That's a lot of fish. Okay, I just heard somebody pull up and stop next to my truck. Turn off their engine.
I'm continuing a video that I started a couple weeks ago, but I didn't finish. I was using my ultralight rod in a couple places, and then I found this new little creek that I was checking out. But while I was there checking it out, I heard somebody messing around up there by my truck, and I didn't record it, but when I went up there, there actually was somebody looking around in my truck, like peeking in the windows and stuff, and they took off when I got up there. But uh, yeah, so I, I want to go fish that creek again, but I don't really want to park there. So I'm picking up where I left off. I'm back here at the river using the ultralight still. And uh, yeah, uh, oddly enough, somebody was looking to break into my truck over there. And here we are two weeks later and I pull into the park up here and there's a car in the middle of the parking lot. Doors open, the steering console's ripped out. The ignition's been ripped out. It's clearly been stolen and abandoned. <laughs> and uh, when I was getting out of my truck, a couple of cops pulled up and they're all, they're looking at it and investigating right now. So yeah, a lot of crazy stuff going on lately. All right, clearly it's been a while since I've been here. Uh, this wall of trees here, I've never seen this here before. Looks like maybe I can get down through here. I don't know if I really want to. Anyway, there's an island on the other side of that that I usually fish around, and I usually have pretty good luck there, but it would appear that nobody's really been down there in a while. Looking for, maybe, yeah, I can get through right here. But it's still overgrown with trees on the other side of it, too. Usually it's just a bare, plain island with rocks and dirt. There's usually not trees or anything growing on it. But there's a little bit of a open area over here, which is perfect. This is cool. The landscape's totally changed. It's flooded a couple of times since I've been here. This will work. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of fish over here blitzing. Ah, oh, the wind caught it and carried it into it. Okay. Whew. But there's some kind of fish that was blitzing up on the bank over here. So, oh, wow. Look. <laughs> I don't believe that. I was just reeling in the slack and I had one on there. But since it was so slack, I wasn't able to actually set the hook. But that was a little bitty bass, probably a little guad. So, yeah, I'm going to fish this area for a while. <laughs> There we go. That, that was just a little bluegill or something, but they slipped off again. The smaller fish are slipping off because they're too small to get their mouths all the way around the hook. So, bigger fish slip off because, well, I don't know, I'm probably not setting the hook right, but. That's a, something there. Is that a fish? What do I got? Or is it a snag? Yep, what is that? That is a piece of pipe. Metal, rusted, corroded pipe. <laughs> there we go. Nice little blonde. Oh. Sorry, I missed it. Is all those bows? Wow. This one's hooked pretty good. Got two trebles down in there. I might try to help you here, but you gotta quit moving. There we go. Nice little quad. Let him go. Oh, man, look at all those fish swimming off. They're probably all tilapia, but there's a bunch of them. Oh, <laughs> Had another one grab it there, but that was just another tiny little fish. Might have been a little bass, but could have just been a sunfish. 
definitely some fish up here in the fast moving water. There we go. Oh, that one's the hardest fighting one so far. The little quad. It's definitely smaller than that last one, but he's a little bit fatter. That first one, I mean. It wasn't really a point to, to this video like I, I tried to do. It was just coming out here using the ultralight rod and enjoying the fight because most of the fish around here in the city are small most of the fish are small not all of them but most of them and uh you know the ultralight just makes it a little bit more fun to fight those so that's what i wanted to do in this video and well, i did that <laughs>